hello guys welcome to this video i'm going to explain in this video how to install jupyter and what are the advantages using the jupyter better than the other ides and i will explain different ways to install jupyter there is couple of options we can install jupyter notebooks and i will show you some example how we can use jupyter notebooks better than other ides and first thing what is jupyter and where is this name derived from the jupyter name derived from three components that is three languages which is used to data analysis and data science those languages are julia python and r language and what is main advantage jupyter is jupyter is web based interface used for code analysis you can visualize the live code that is example you can see the input and output next to each other so you can type the code you can see the your output how is coming each step like a small bits and it will create the graph of the code this helps in data analysis it's easy to understand the code in jupyter notebook than other ides like if you can put a lot of text like you can write comments but better than that you can explain what is happening during the step like a notebook you writing normally you 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 remember in your class how you write notes to clarify your doubts and everything and it is a web based development so it will allow to use from any browser like chrome mozilla internet explorer safari and also you can access it from anywhere like chromebook mac windows linux and jupyter can install as a server also so people can share the code if there are many developers working on single project so they can share the code and they can work from remotely also jupyter notebook provides the features to easily share notebook with other users you can export code into different format like pdf text and other rich text format also the code can be shared using github um, again you can use gmail attachment as attachments and you can share with the dropbox also most developers prefer to run the code in jupyter because it support inline markdown nodes like visualization you can add videos you can add pictures you can add uh, some jpegs ping images everything but other than more than normal ides other than all these things there is one more add on to that supports it supports more than 40 programming languages including r and scala okay the next thing i'm going to explain in next part i'm going to explain how to install jupyter in this video and i'm going to make another video how can we integrate this jupyter with github so you know that about is a github it will it is a code repository for other people and they can share the code they can publish the code and you can commit your code into continuity continuity integration and continue development so is very 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 helpful okay we going to next we going to our linux system so i can show you how to install jupyter on this linux uh, system so i'm using debian operating system this is most of the linux os is derived from the debian like ubuntu kali linux and mx linux ubuntu lubuntu there's lots of systems derived from debian and parrot also parrot security operating system so once you install on this if you learn on debian you can install same format on other operating systems also so i'm logging into the system now okay here is a terminal so the first command we need to do is a uh, first we need to check what python version we are running on our system so python i'm using normally latest linux operating system comes with python 3 so python 3 and version 
So you can see that it is Python 3.7.3. And to install the Jupyter, we need to first install pip. It's a Python package manager. So you can easily install using those commands. So I'm first installing sudo apt install python3 pip yes so it takes very quick so this is this is depend on how you what is your bandwidth net internet speed and bandwidth and i hope it's going to be very quick and the next command we have to use ipython this is integrated python in past days without jupyter notebook there is a ipython con terminal we normally write python code in a console and terminals so you can save it. these notebooks saving as a ipython format not as a dot py format so now i'm installing ipython app install ipython yes okay we've done all the requirements which is which you need for our jupyter installation the first thing you have to know check what version you are using python so the jupyter notebooks will support python 2.7 and later and python 3 and later so you have to check those version what which version you are running on your system first and then i'm installing i installed pip3 then i installed ipython then we're going to install jupyter now pip3 install jupyter sorry we have to use sudo going to be very quick come on it's done now the only command we have to run now to open our notebooks is jupyter notebook so it will generate the token for authentication you can see that here this token will use to authenticate your jupyter server on your local system if you run this if you install this one on remote system you have to use your ip address to connect the this server so here is the it will open automatically in a browser you can see that it is it is integrated all my folders which is available on my home folder and so the first thing I will show you, I create a new file, Python file. So I will show you here, new Python 3 file. So it will open to different tab. So you can rename this file, whatever you, you like, like we do test, so test and rename. So you can see that, if you go to the next slide, you will see that it is saved in my home environment so i'm not saving any documents or any downloads it's just in my home folder test.ipython yeah i'll show you that i'm just demoing some of the what is the best features we can do that here so best feature what is jupyter provides you like if i write python code if i want to print something i just write hello world So after writing this code, you just need to shift enter. So it will give you output. So you see that how easy is that you can write small type of like x equal to y equal to 3 and z equal to x plus y. So print z so if you do that 
fifth enter you will get output immediately and also you can write your comments like here this is you can see that this is showing as a code if we change this one to mark down so whatever you write in this cell it will save as a text markdown text this is markdown text so you can route whatever you like jupiter you can like how many lines you like here and you can save it and shift enter to change into other cell again so you see that how many lines we can type with a comments you can write your text you can write whatever you want to that and it will change automatically into code again next cell when you generate a next cell it will change again back to the code and also you can insert cell above cell below and you can insert also images also here and also i'm showing some shortcut keys to familiarize with jupyter notebook here is the shortcut keys so these all keys enabled with escape key yeah so you have to use first escape then you have to use any key to do that and that's it for this linux but next thing we're going to windows how can we install in windows yeah so if you go to anaconda installation if you see that installing on windows anaconda documentation if you want to install this jupyter straight away from the repository it is a very complex task and you have to install some extra softwares and then you can install jupyter but if you use anaconda you can install straight download the software and then next 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 it will comes with your pycharm and everything and you can mac os also same thing you can install in mac os jupyter straight into mac os also and linux you can also install in linux you have to install for the all requirements then you have to follow these instructions and then you have to run these commands to install the software and one more request when you are installing linux please don't use root command root command don't use root command use user command which has root privileges and the system so it will generate your environment it will gen create paths in your home directory so you can open you can open just quickly using just anaconda navigator so it will hustle you don't face any issues otherwise you need to generate all these commands and you have to write every time all those commands to run your anaconda so why it is a simple task anaconda installing anaconda is a simple task but why i'm going to jupyter or installing from repository the main thing is anaconda need more resource it will use more ram it will use more cpu power it will use more uh, storage also if you install the jupyter you, you don't need that much power you don't need you don't use that much ram so that's why I, I prefer jupyter and anaconda is free for only one user if you are going to more users is going to be more money like its starting price is $10000 so for corporate company it's not a big problem but if it's some small company or any certain people group of developers if they want to develop something so it's going to be expensive so that's why i'm suggesting to you install the jupyter straight from repository and that's it for this video and next video i'm going to explain how you're going to integrate jupyter notebooks with the git and how can you commit the uh, your code how can you change your code how can synchronize your code with github and everything going to next one so that's it for this video please subscribe below if you have any questions or anything please comment thank you